In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, palettes and workspace system. Palettes are essentially floating windows within the software. Uh, they, they contain tools, uh, resources, uh, general information, or settings. Uh, we're going to start with the basic palette. Uh, this palette contains uh, commonly used tools, uh, such as the selection tool, rectangle, circle, polyline, and so on. Uh, the selection tool, for example, is used to select objects, move them, and resize them. Below the basic palette is the tool sets palette. This palette contains uh, multiple tool sets. It's essentially a palette of palettes. If you look down at the bottom, uh, you'll see the various sub palettes within the tool sets palette. For example, you can see uh, 3D modeling, visualization, dims and notes. The tool sets available will be different depending on the software version installed. For example, uh, there is additional tool sets such as the building shell, site planning, and spotlight tool sets. At the very bottom of the palette, both, actually both the tool sets palette and the basic palette, is a utility menu. This menu allows you to control visibility settings for the palette and tool display settings. Now let's go over and take a look at the uh, object info palette. This is arguably uh, the most important palette in the software. Uh, as you can see at the top, there are three tabs. Uh, you have Shape, Data, and Render. In order to see the render pane, uh, you must have a design series version of the software or RenderWorks. Let's start with the Shape pane. This pane displays general information about the selected object or objects. It allows you to uh, edit certain parameters of the selected object. If we go over now to the data pane, uh, this pane allows you to give an object a name or edit any record information if a record is attached. Finally, uh, if RenderWorks is enabled, uh, the Render tab in the Object Info Palette lets you uh, apply and map textures uh, to 3D objects. Uh, if you have a, a design series product, you can also apply sketch effects to objects here as well. Below the Object Info Palette, uh, we have the Resource Browser. The resource browser, in general, is a way to access resources from either within the file or from other files. Here you can view, uh, edit, and apply resources to objects. If we click on the Files pop-up in the resource browser, we can go down and navigate to the various resource libraries available with the software. The resource browser will show any resources that are currently in your document or resources from other files. Uh, for example, we can see a line type and we can actually just drag and drop this line type onto an existing line and it will apply to the object. Uh, the, this works the same for hatches, gradients, and other resources. Uh, you can also drag and drop a symbol. We will cover symbols in more detail in another video. Uh, you can also edit objects in the resource browser. Uh, you simply right click or control click on Mac on a resource and you can go down and edit the object. Now let's go over and take a look at the Attributes palette. Here you can set uh, fill and pen style, uh, color, line weight, opacity, and uh, marker settings for objects. Below that is the Snapping palette. Here you can quickly toggle snap options on and off. We will go over the various snap options in uh, further detail in the next video. In addition to these palettes, depending on your installed product, you may have some additional ones. For instance, there's also a visualization palette as well as a navigation palette. Now let's take a look at workspaces. Workspaces contain uh, the palette visibility and location, as well as uh, menu options. Depending on the installed version of the software, you may have several default workspaces available, uh, such as Fundamentals, uh, Architect, Landmark, uh, or Spotlight. These workspaces are editable or you can even create a custom workspace using the Workspace Editor. Uh, to access the Workspace Editor, just go to Tools, uh, Workspaces, and then click on Workspaces. In addition to the visibility settings for your palettes, uh, Workspaces also contain other customizable settings. For instance, you can reorder tools within a tool palette, or you can even uh, remove or add additional tools to a palette. Um, as well as even creating a brand new palette with uh, a combination of any tools you would like. Also, the workspace contains your menus in the menu bar. 
You can reorder, remove, add the menus themselves or even uh, the commands within those menus. Workspaces also store any saved uh, customized keyboard shortcuts for tools or menu commands. Coming up in our next video, we're going to go over uh, the basic interaction with the software, as well as how to use tools and the snapping system.